the Range Rover family respects its fourth part for 2018. The shiny new Land Rover Range Rover Veeler. At first look, it appears to check all the crates a purchaser would have for an extravagant SUV. Style? Check. Extravagance? Check. Rough terrain ability? Two full check. In any case, does it hold up under more profound examination, particularly of its stick and span sight and sound framework? Truly and no. The Veeler is situated as the Goldilocks Range Rover for urban nights. Both the first Range Rover and Range Rover Sport aren't exactly reasonable for city utilize in light of the fact that they're too huge. The Avant, with its minor rearward sitting arrangement and deficiency of freight room, is too little to satisfy the utility part of the condition. So along comes the Veeler, which fits most people, counting those with little families, without flaw. To locate the Veeler's nearest driver, you don't need to look more distant than over the Jaguar Land Rover carport to the Jaguar F-Pace. The two offer the same powertrains and stage, which gives them numerous likenesses. The Veeler, be that as it may, is around 2.5 inches longer, and its looks and inside place it in an alternate extravagant echelon. Likewise contending with the Veeler are other minimized, average size extravagant SUVs like the Porsche Cayenne and Volvo XC60. An expansion to a supercharged V6, the Veeler offers two four-chamber powertrains I drove, two, a 247 horsepower, turbocharged 2.0-liter four-barrel with 269 pounds-feet of torque appraised at 21 27 23rds of a mile per gallon, and a 180 horsepower turbocharged diesel 2.0-liter four-barrel with 317 pounds-feet of torque evaluated at 26 slash 30 28 of a mile per gallon. Every motor is native to an 8-speed programmed transmission and standard all-wheel drive. Amazingly, each of the three motors are accessible over all the dealer's trim levels, S, SE, R Dynamic SE and R Dynamic HSE, aside from the base trim, which comes just with the gas four-chamber. I invested a large portion of my testing energy with the supercharged V6, however we likewise had a diesel Veeler at our Chicago Central Command. In the wake of driving a Veeler with every motor, I didn't get myself enchanted with any of the power trends. As specified some time recently.